Hey everybody, welcome back. Day number seven. You've made it. Hi, Joe White, one final time, or at least in this capacity. Day seven of the seven day challenge, the guardrails. How do we keep it all going? You've made it. Outstanding. Truly. I mean, you could just take a moment even now to look back on the volume of work and the amount of growth that you've obtained in the last seven days. Whether it's new insights or connection with thoughts and feelings and parts of you that you've just forgotten or maybe just weren't following through. And along the way, discovering that it's never about the goal. Kind of funny, isn't it? That we do this workshop, the seven-day challenge. And it's not about the obtainment of the goal. But it's about learning how to become the individual needed to create the life that you want. See, very often in our programs, what people have signed up for isn't always what they've they end up getting. Or they get it, but they get so much more. So much more understanding. So much more knowledge, wisdom, ideas, strategies. Because this is the end of the seven day journey. But in order for something to begin, something has to end. But what doesn't have to end is everything that you've learned in these seven days. Because any time in life we have an action. See, an action can be sporadic. That's why it has to be a must. Because somebody who should lose weight will go to the gym once in a while. If it's a must, you'll go running when it's 10 degrees and it's freezing. But if that's your commitment, you do it. But to do an action long enough, it becomes a habit. And we develop bad habits the same way that we develop good habits. But we keep doing it long enough, it becomes part of our identity. And by becoming our identity, it becomes who we are. And we may deviate from that identity for a period of time, but we never lose who we are. We may forget who we are, but we don't lose it. It becomes as much of who we are as our heart or as our blood. Or as an organ. And knowing that you can always return there. And knowing that you live in alignment with that identity is a wise lesson that will serve you well. Because it's not about dabbling. I remember, you know, as, as I studied martial arts, in martial arts, we have masters. People have been training for years and years and years and years. And one day, a student walked up to the master and said, Master, I want to be as great as you. Show me what I need to do. Show me the new techniques. Show me the, the higher level forms. And he said, no. Go back and practice what you know. See, that's the difference between a student and a master. A master practices what they know. A student always wants to learn something new. It's exciting to learn something new. But to get really good, you got to focus on the basics, on the fundamental. And that's how you continue. Because yesterday we created a roadmap of where you want to go. And today is about putting those guardrails up. Because yes, you're going to end up sometimes going side to side, but we want to keep you going forward as much as you can. And when I coach my clients, where I came up with this concept of guardrail, I start with guardrails here. Hopefully you can see that depending on the uh, width of the camera lens. But we start them here. And as the period goes on and on, we narrow them in more and more and more. And eventually, I have clients have been coaching with me for years. Their guardrails are like this. So there's very little weights at time going side by side and all the energy facing forward. And they grow. They grow so 
so much faster than they did before or halfway through their, their period with me or in the beginning or even before they came with me. Because the problem without guardrails is sometimes we wander off the road. And we wander too far off the road, guess what happens? Well, either we forget how to get back to the road or we think where we are off the road is the road. And that's a scary place. So as we wrap things up and you do your final assignment, keep that in the back of your mind. Remember from yesterday, movement is not progress. Not in and of itself. And always be thinking, how can I keep guardrails up? I remember when I first started getting into personal development, I went to my first seminar, then went to my second seminar, and then went to the third seminar, and halfway or towards three quarters of the way through, they sold the big seminar packet. And it was like eleven thousand dollars. I remember sitting there saying, I don't have eleven thousand dollars. How can I ever put this money out? And there was a voice inside of me that said, Every time you took an opportunity, a risk, in an area of serving you and serving others, an area or an opportunity to grow, it always has served you. It has always paid off. And that's true. Or I wouldn't be here today. And I also knew if I paid $11,000 and all the money it takes to get to the seminars and food and lodging, that I would have to, to be congruent with the, the identity I created for who I am, I would have to not only go to them and work my tail off at them, but also get a return on my investment. So with uncertainty, but in my heart, I signed up. And I look back and that was 11, 12 years ago, somewhere in that neighborhood, that was one of the biggest decisions, the best choices I ever made. Because I don't think I would be here today. I had the desire, I had the ability. But you know what? I would just gotten distracted. I wouldn't had to work on myself so much and learn so much and use so much. See, there's one thing about building the muscle. Then you got to use it. And use it in ways that to, to, to design and create the things and you want in your life. Whether it's something which is tangible, like growing your business, or something intangible, like having emotional balance or developing a deep, meaningful relationship with the soulmate. I was forced to. Through my own rules, they were my guardrails. And once I got that, I went to more seminars, I read more books, put myself out there more and more and more. And a little bit, a few days ago, I talked about my leadership team, that's guardrails. It's all about guardrails. 